Hey guys, you got the dude man here with you again once again, and I got the Davy 504 base here in my hands. Take a look at it. I'm going to try and get the glare out of it so you can see the colors. Uh, it's actually a pretty nice looking finish. I know you're getting some reflections in there and stuff, but uh, it is a really nice instrument uh, finish wise and build wise too as well. Uh, decent sound and bass. Now I got this used and uh, whoever had it last they had put flat wounds on it. So uh, the flat wounds um, I don't know if they're wore out strings or they're cheap strings or what are what are they but uh, they really don't sound very good on here and it's not the bass it is the strings but we're gonna start with these strings and uh, after I tell you all about the bass and everything, I'm going to shut the video off and I'm going to give you samples of two more kinds of strings. I just got some roto sounds, brand new roto sounds I'm going to put on here and uh, round wounds and I'm going to put those on and play it for you again. And not only that, but I got some uh, piccolo strings and I wanted to try it out with the piccolo strings because I've doing, been doing a lot of piccolo bass playing lately. So I wanted to try it with that. Now, Davey 504, I'm sure you know about him. If you're a bass player, you should know about him. If you don't, he has what I believe is the most popular YouTube channel uh, on YouTube. So uh, he's really uh, an outstanding player. And uh, he, he uh, injects a, a good amount of uh, humor. I like his deadpan humor style. And uh, he gives some great information and uh, does some funny stuff on there. And uh, it's an enjoyable channel to watch if you're uh, a bass player anyway. So um, if you were to buy this uh, bass brand new, well, let me start with this. This built bass is built by Chowney, and they are in the UK. And um, the name of the bass is uh, actually the Retro Vibe Davy 504 bass. And... Um, I've been uh, following this company, Chowney, for a couple years and looking at some of their instruments and stuff. And uh, they, it seems like they make some nice quality instruments. This thing is certainly solid. And uh, it's got the nice finish on it. Uh, talk about the finish. This comes in quite a few different finish colors. My favorites were this blue. Uh, they got a wicked purple. Uh, the green looks super cool, and the red is beautiful, and then they got some other ones. I wasn't too crazy about the gray or whatever, a couple others, but uh, they all have the same kind of, um, what do you call that finish on there? Uh, quilted. It's a quilted uh, finish. So anyway, um, it does uh, sound good. It plays good. Uh, it's got a nice low action on it. And uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, features of it. So if you were to buy this brand new, it would be $587.60 to order it uh, going uh, to the United States, that is, plus shipping. And I ordered bases from the UK before, and you're going to pay over $100 to have it shipped. Uh, I think I paid as much as $200 for what I had shipped, but uh, that came with a case too. Um, so, and then on top of that, you got the international uh, the shipping, they call it duties. The duties you got to pay, and that's, you know, that can get expensive too. That's uh, probably going to be over $100 as well. So, you got to add up the shipping, the duties, the cost, and then you figure out if it's worth it and you can afford it and all that. On top of that, there's a 12 to 14 week uh, delivery time from the time you order it. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about this. Um, these tuners, these are my favorite style tuners. Um, these particular ones are Wilkinson and uh, uh, they just really work well. Uh, they, they're easy to tune up. They're not real big and heavy and bulky, but they're, they're easy to tune. They're, they got a good, uh, um, good gears in there where, where it's easy. And um, so you got that. You've got a uh, Retro Vibe Stinger, 77 Stinger preamp in here. 
So I believe that was a Music Man bass, if I remember right, and maybe the Stinger preamp from 77 was a highly regarded um, a preamp. Uh, so this is an active bass, active electronics, I believe. Uh, some basses have active pickups. They call them active pickups in most of them, but really they're active electronics, and that's what I think this one has. And uh, the, the, it's single uh, pickup, it's a humbucker. So uh, let's see, this has a red cedar body, maple J profile neck, so it's very similar to a jazz bass. And uh, fingerboard is also maple, so that's good. The maple is a great sound, sounding wood to have on your neck. All right, and uh, it's got a satin finish, as I said before, quilted maple finish. Uh, it's 24 frets. Uh, let's see. This was made to Davy 504. I call him Davy 504 because I don't know his last name. Uh, but uh, everybody knows him as Davy 504. So it, it was made to his specs. And uh, I'm sure he gave them some good specs. It seems that way. Uh, the bay, this particular base is over 8 pounds. Somewhere around 8.5 pounds. A little heavier than I uh, care to have a bass, but uh, that's eight to nine pounds is probably the most common weight for a bass. Uh, I certainly wouldn't want anything nine pounds or more. Uh, I had back surgery before, so I got to watch it. Um, okay, so 24 frets. Um, let's see. Uh, the controls are bass, treble, and volume. Uh, and you're you're not going to hear a whole lot of difference uh, because of the, the flats, but I'll do a little playing for you. and the treble both cranked up so right now I'm going to cut back completely on the uh, bass all right that was the bass completely off now we'll put the bass all the way back up and the treble off a pretty nice sound nice it's like a nice warm fender sound you know I like it I was playing mostly with both the bass and the uh, treble all the way up so that's all I'm going to do for you today take a look at the back you see you got the, your uh, control, I mean the, your um, battery. It's got the uh, holes for the neck through, uh, I mean uh, the string string through the body. Uh, four bolt neck, uh, common, uh, everything looks cool. And it's got a, a, a style. What I like about the body style is it, it's kind of similar to the old Ricks where it's got this uh, upper uh, horn that kind of rick shape and I like the I love the shape of a rick um, and the um, the pick guard is more like the music man because they got that big oval now I was never a big fan of the big oval uh, pick guard but Davey did this cut out here and uh, well I don't know if he chose to do that or not but kind of made it his own you know and uh, a step away from uh, the music man so uh, that's it the bridge looks good uh, I don't know if it's their own bridge or it's a purchase bridge or I can't see any name on it but uh, it's a solid bridge it's a nice looking bridge painted uh, gloss black to match the uh, knobs and everything and the tuners and uh, that's it guys so uh, I'm gonna get these strings changed out and I'll be back another day to show you uh, a couple more uh, variations on with the strings on this okay so uh, stick around we'll be right back